Okay, so while solving these systems of equations, most of the time you'll get an answer which is just a point, but sometimes you'll get other answers. And so I'm going to go over those with you. So the three possibilities of an answer are either no solution, one actual solution, or an infinite number of solutions. So let's look at this example. We have y equals 2x minus 6 and y minus 2, 2 times x minus 4. Okay, let's say we're trying to solve this system of equations. And just looking at it, my first equation is already isolated, right? So, like before, that's a good indicator to use substitution. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 2x minus 6, and I'm going to substitute it for this y right here. So when I do that, I'm going to have 2x minus 6, which is y, minus 2 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 4. All right, and so when I look at it, I have one equation and then only x's. So I'm going to try to solve for x. So first one I'm going to do, in this parentheses on the left side, there is no distribution, so I can just remove the parentheses and say 2x minus 6 minus 2, and that's just minus 8. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8 equals... This time I'm going to distribute. I'm going to get 2x minus, remember, because of that minus sign in there, 2 times 4, which is 8. So then I add 8 on both sides. Those cancel out and those cancel out. So I'm left with just 2x equals 2x. So you're looking probably and you're thinking, well, yeah, that's true. Whatever x is. 2 times that is going to equal 2 times that. So this is a true statement. So if I wanted to continue this, I could. And I can be like, well, there's x's on both sides, so I have to get them both to the same side by subtracting 2x. But when I do that, I get 2x minus 2x, which is 0, equals 2x minus 2x, which is 0. That's a true statement. Whenever we get something that is like... 2x equals 2x or 0 equals 0. That means that both of these two lines here and here, they're actually the same line. So the point of intersection is not actually a point. It's really every spot on that line is the same as the other line. So on a graph, if you were to graph these two, all you would see is just one line. It would just look like one line like that. When really there's two equations and so what that means is that means an infinite number of solutions. So if that was on a test for example and you were to solve it, your answer would be you just put the infinity sign and that'll infinite number of solutions. That's what that means. So that's one of the possibilities. The other possibility I'm going to go over with you. Here, let me get my chalkboard. And so let's look at this one, for example. Y equals 3X plus 1. Y plus 15 equals 3 times X plus 4. Let's look at this. Again, our first equation is already isolated, so I'm going to use substitution. And substitute that first y into the second y. So I'm going to say 3x plus 1, which is y, plus 15 equals 3 times x plus 4. Again, one equation, one unique variable x. And so I'm just going to solve for x. 3x plus 1 plus 15, that's plus 16 equals, I'm going to distribute, remember, 3x plus 12. Now just looking at it, whatever value x is, if I multiply it by 3 and then add 16, 
that is not going to be the same thing as if I were to take x and multiply it by 3 and then add 12. I'm not going to get the same thing. So if you don't believe me, watch this. If I'm trying to solve for x, I have 3x equals 3x minus 4. You can already tell that's not true. 3x is not equal to 3x minus 4. So whenever we get a false statement, that means that there is no solution. There is no solution. So that's our answer. No solution. And what that means is there is no intersection point between these two lines, basically. So check this out. Let me get my graph paper. And if I were to graph these two, what it would look like is this. There's my grid, and then I don't know exactly what the lines look like, but I know one of them is going to be a straight line, obviously. And then remember, there's no intersection point, so these lines are never, ever. So whenever we have no solution, that means that our lines are going to be parallel because there's no intersection point. So... Again, there's three types of solutions. You can get an actual answer, or you can get an infinite number of solutions. Remember, that's when the graph looks like just one line, or two lines on top of each other. Or, like we just saw here, we can get no solutions, and that means there's no point at which the lines intersect, which means they're parallel. So keep that in mind when you're taking your test.